still not ready. This is the story of an engineering crusade to create a car that will persuade the world's richest people to part with a million euros. A challenge that's pushing one of the greatest ever car designers to his limits. In a building that's more like an artist's studio than a factory, a man inspired by Leonardo da Vinci. A man who must be surrounded by the right smells to think is pursuing his ultimate dream to build a car that is both an engineering marvel and a work of art. An automotive masterpiece born of a pursuit of perfection so relentless there's a danger it may never be finished. After a god of wind, this is the Pagani Waira. A car that has something so special, its creator believes that people will pay a million euros to own one. But why? <laughs> 10 a.m. The doors open and thousands of journalists and car lovers flock to the Geneva Motor Show. The star attraction is the unveiling of Horazio Pagani's new car, his million euro Waira. But there's a twist. While this may look like a finished car, it's not. In fact, despite years of development, it's far from complete. It may sound crazy to expect buyers to commit to spending a million euros on a car they can't even test drive. But not in the world of Orazio Pagani. Because this is the man whose first supercar, the Zonda, stunned the world on its launch and is considered by many to be one of the greatest sports cars of all time. So within days of the Waira's launch, Pagani's reputation alone is enough to secure the first orders. And as the Geneva Motor Show comes to an end, the worry for his team is not getting sales, but actually finishing the car so they can build and deliver them. Back home in Italy, Orazio Pagani has been developing this car for over eight years. In his pursuit of perfection, he is not a man to be hurried. Buongiorno, benvenuti in Pagani. Orazio personally designed his small factory, or atelier, as he prefers to call it. With his assembly room, component manufacturing, and design studios, all under one roof. This isn't a place where machines are bolted together by robots. Pagani's master craftsmen hand-build engineering works of art. Over the last decade, they've produced 150 unique Zondas. But now they're waiting to start building the Huayra, as soon as the boss gives them the nod. But that won't happen until this man's work is done. And 800 kilometers away in Germany, he's still got plenty to do. Because before any customer will be allowed to drive the Huayra, its extraordinary power and performance must be tamed. Over the last two years, Davide Testi has driven a series of Huayra prototypes the equivalent of 25 times around the world. I am the million kilometer man in the million euro car. And uh, follow me, and this is my office. Today, a full six months after the launch in Geneva, Davide is getting his first taste of a vital new addition to the car. Bosch's ESP, Electronic Stability Program, is a step on the road to a crash-proof car. The system goes far beyond traction control and anti-lock braking. With electronics that can assist or even override the driver to keep the car on the road. 
straight away in this tight corner. I am accelerating fully and the ESP helps me straighten the car, keeping me on the road. But making this futuristic system work on this car is going to be no mean feat. Combining a very light overall weight with a massive 730 horsepower, even a racing driver like Davide must show respect. This monstrous 700 horsepower, 1,000 newton meters of torque is something truly awesome. It's an exciting challenge, but Davide is under intense pressure to get the job done. By October, the sales team has amassed 60 orders for the million euro Waira. A total that will take years to build. So despite the fact that testing is not finished, Arazio finally agrees to go into production. Down in assembly, a new chapter for his team of mechanics begins. And the first job is to get their heads around the new parts. Well, this here, this has all been um, prepared by the, uh, the guy in the stores. This is a like, control unit and the ABS. Um, obviously, you've got the uh, monolock um, wheel nuts here. These are the suspension arms. Perfect, as you can see, everything's got their, their part number. Everything's marked with the, uh, the Pagani logo. Every wash is like detail, it's like a piece of, it's a work of art, every single thing. Today is a bit of a shock to the system for Dave Lambert, who's built 90 Zondas here in this room. It's all new for us and it's like, um, it's quite emotional really because now it's like nine years I've been used to be putting, putting together the, uh, the Zonda. So this is like, everything's, everything's new. So, um, you know, it's, it's, it's like starting a new job. The whole thing will be held together with 1,200 titanium bolts. At 96,000 euros, that's more than the cost of most complete cars. But there's no manual on how best to build a wire, so Dave and his team must make it up as they go along. Our first part of the job is to like, build the, uh, the front and back chassis. The two chassis are lightweight frames made from a very strong form of steel called chromoly. These will later be bolted onto the front and rear of the driver's compartment. Next. Onto these frames, most of the heavy mechanical components will be fitted, including the hardware for the Bosch ESP system. But what to do first? That's it, we're just uh, learning that maybe, maybe we should have put this on first. Now we've just learned that maybe it's best to put the ABS on before the, uh, the steering rack. It makes life easier. While Dave tries to figure it all out, Orazio is never far away, keeping a close eye on the birth of his latest creation. One of the things we don't like about Orazio is that when we go out for uh, lunch, we're just about to clock out and he turns up. Dave needn't worry, though. Orazio is in no great hurry, because even though he has agreed to begin assembly, no customer cars will actually be completed and delivered until the performance has been perfected. Orazio's vision is to create a car with a split personality, a machine that can provide the legendary thrills and speed of the bad boy Zonda, but has a softer side car for all seasons, to take the kids to school, or on a luxurious cruise through the countryside. So this is where the ESP really comes in. It's the key to creating this two-headed god. Davide must fine-tune the system's two very different modes. First, sport mode. In straight-line testing, with wet and dry lanes, Davide has no problem sending the car into spectacular spins without completely losing control. It's a boy racer's wet dream. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> 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 
Yes, you, you can never say how it will work. Yeah. But switch to normal mode, and the system activates full traction control and anti-lock braking. This is a bit like having Davide's brain embedded in the car, making it almost impossible to spin out of control. The car really reacts very well, it's very stable, and the ESP system really helps. It's helping me right now with the little corrections to keep the car on the road. The newest component of the ESP system is stability control. On a corner, the electronics can individually apply braking pressure to any of the four wheels. This helps tighter cornering. But it's also automatically triggered if the car's sensors tell it that you're losing control. Not quite crash-proof, but that's the thinking. It's a good job from Bosch, huh? Look at this. Oh, not bad. It's Mika to do a good job, I think, for the moment. After just two hours, Davide has burned through a 4,200 euro set of tires. And he will probably burn through many more. He may love the new system as it is, but experience says his boss may well have him drive another lap of the planet in the ongoing quest for absolute perfection. Work begins at Pagani every morning at 7.30 sharp. But there's no danger of Orazio ever being late, because his house is inside the factory. He lives and breathes his work night and day. With his extraordinary passion for cars, Orazio is not a man to rest on his laurels. So in 2003, despite rocketing sales for the Zonda, he informed his team it was time to pursue a new dream. One so ambitious, it would put both his reputation and the future of the company on the line. Orazio started planning his perfect car with unique engineering features, immense power and speed, but also a softer, more feminine side. Most importantly, named after a two-headed god of wind, the Wira must assault the senses and create intense emotion worthy of a million euros. This is our mission, to really discover what it is that creates emotion in a client to the point of spending more than one million euros to buy what in the end is a car. When there are many other cars, they do everything and they cost 40 times less than a Pagani. For Orazio, to create that emotion means combining art and engineering, a philosophy that has evolved from his lifelong fascination with Leonardo da Vinci. Reading an article about Leonardo da Vinci, I found a statement where Leonardo said that art and science could walk together hand in hand. When I read that, it was like a window opened and I discovered the path I wanted to follow. In the design studios, Orazio put his team of young designers to work to create the blueprints for the Wira's 4,700 components. Many redesigned literally dozens of times until the boss was happy. The fundamental concept that Pagani communicated to me when I started with his company was his philosophy for work and his philosophy for creating. For him, it is fundamental that an object is both beautiful and, at the same time, functional. Inspired by da Vinci, Orazio is determined that every single one of those 4,700 components will not just be made of the 